this is a simple network guide that I'm making. If you're having network problems on Val Valorant, Overwatch, Marvel, this guide is perfectly fine for you. This is going to help you a lot. I personally use these settings. I always, always, no matter what, always use these settings and I hope it helps you. Anyways, I will be leaving a folder in the description of this video uh, with the download link. You're going to need these. I'll show you when to use them and how to use them. Uh, you will also, what you're going to do is we're going to begin by uh, checking our buffer bloat. Okay. Okay. I apologize. Um, back to the point. This is, I should have reset everything back to normal. So these are the normal settings that come with Windows when it comes to, like, I have no network tweaks applied. Okay. Check this out. So it can take a sec. There we go. I close Valorant for the point last. So I personally have fiber. And if you can get fiber, that's awesome. Fiber is going to be the best thing you can get for gaming. If you have no choice, you can go with 5G. If you have no choice, you can go with 4G. But fiber is the best option you can get for gaming, 100%. Um, you can see my download active is 41 milliseconds. You can see my upload is, jeez, um, 33, 27, I'm not really sure. My internet's very unstable, so this is why I try to limit it and stabilize it as much as I can. So here you go. I got a, a buffer bloat, buffer, buffer bloat grade of B. Uh, if you're to C, D, E, or like F, you should really, really 100% do these. Uh, B is also, I recommend doing these. This will help you turn it into an A, hopefully, or, a, or into a B, who knows? But you can see it says your internet connection is fast to support low latency gaming, but you may experience intermittent issues due to buffer bloat. So the goal of these tweaks is to lower your latency, stabilize your network, and hopefully you will feel the difference in game. In game. So let's begin with what we need to do. So this will be in the folder. I forgot to save it. There we go. So you're going to go here. You're going to go into RegiEdit. Okay. So how do you get into here? You can just search up Regi, like registry editor from here, or you can Windows button R and just RegiEdit, right? You copy this path, you remove computer, and you paste, okay? And you're going to see interfaces. You can expand this, okay? You're going to see interfaces, and under the section of interfaces, there is these folders, okay? Everything else doesn't matter. Under the section of interfaces, there is these folders. You want to find, out of all of this, you want to find... Uh, this where it you can find G DHCP server, DHCP IP address. You want to find where this is. Okay, does that make sense? So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy this, uh, copy the name, without the like this the colon whatever. You're gonna right click. You're gonna click new. You're gonna click D word thirty two bit value. You're gonna paste the name. Uh, paste it like this. Enter. You're going to double click on it and you're going to change the value data to what? One. Okay. Done. And now you're going to do this for TCP no delay. New. D word. TCP no delay. Enter. Double click on it. Change it to one. And TCP del. You're going to do zero. So D word. Remove the semicolon. Yeah. And put this to zero. Done. You're done with the hardest part of the video. So this is going to be applied after you restart your PC, okay? Now, uh, what I need you to do is go to the folder that you just downloaded again. You're going to click on Modify Adapter Settings. You're going to run this as admin. It's very, very important to run it as admin because these won't work if you just run it normally. So you're going to let it do its thing. Just give it a second. Let it do its thing. Done. When it closes, it means it's done. You're done with this. Now, you're going to go on turn on limiter. This is going to limit. It's going to give you stability. If you play VR chat, 
I, you will need to turn off the limiter and I'll show you how to do that in a second. So you're going to go here, turn on limiter. You're going to run this as admin. And that's it. That's all you need to do. All you need to do now is apply changes, run it as admin. Always to like, remember, you have to keep running it as admin. Done. That's all you needed to do. Needed to do. Everything has been applied in the folder and registry. Uh, if um, For the registry stuff, you're just going to need to restart. Now, if you play VR chat, uh, some games will have like very slow loading pictures, for example. Um, or if you're downloading games, I recommend turning off limiter. So you go on this folder, you run this as admin, and then you go to apply changes and run it as a, run as run as admin again, and it should fix your problem. So if you if you like play VR chat and Valorant, you can turn off limiter for VR, turn on limiter for Valorant. Just make sure to what apply changes for modify adapter settings. You just need to do this one time. You don't need to do this again. Now. Let's do the buffer blood test again and see what our result is, right? We have a B, we have 41 and seven. We're gonna test again and see the difference. But you get the point, you can see the download active is zero MS compared to what it was with these tweaks. So this is evidence that this is working and the upload is zero MS. This is very functional. This works. This is awesome for FPS games. And maybe this solves your problem. And I hope you have an awesome day. And I'm. If it worked, please let me know in the comments. You can see it's A. Uh, this is low. This, your internet may be too slow. This is because of my internet. It's generally been slow these couple of days. I need to reset the router. But it's I'm too lazy, but you can see the point. This is gonna make your uh ping or like your stuff stable in-game. That's all I wanted to do. This is for my friends.